south of the Dodge County Fairgrounds on a Dodge County healthy, healthy soil, healthy water rover participant. We're in week uh, 14 with the most recent cover crop planted, and week 36 with the uh, with the first cover crop planted. So we'll get into them. Uh, temperature wise, I guess I could talk about that. It's pretty warm. We're in the 40s right now. This past two weeks we had a snow event. Um, we had maybe an inch, uh, I guess maybe probably three to five inches, I guess I should say. Uh, this morning we had thought that the ground would still be unfrozen or not frozen, I guess I should say, but uh, I wasn't able to shove my little probe in the ground or um, I probably could have worked the frost out with this uh, shovel, but I would have been worried that it would have broken broken that shovel. So, we uh, are standing here by our flags. I cleared a little uh, residue away. We can see the rows of rye as it shows up on the camera. And it's actually a green, maybe a bright green. Where it's super bright green is where um, there would have been residue on top. So obviously you can still see that, it's, that it is growing, that the rye is growing. So we have a row there, we have a row here, we have a row here. We've got another row here, so we've got four rows in between this 30-inch uh, row uh, corn row spacing. 36-week-old um, plant is vetch. It's alive, it's growing. We know there's nodules on there, and it's green. It's alive, it's growing, it's green. And we've got some uh, clover here as well, too. 36-week-old plant. Um, we've got clover growing, and that's... that's um, got nodules on it as well too so there's uh, from a distance doesn't really look like we've got anything that's growing here but you go through you pull the residue back you can see that there's there's rows you can see, see there's rows so we put the thermometer in the ground and about two inches down is where it got to a hard point that's where the frost is at down two inches and then I shoved a little bit further Worried I was maybe going to break the thermometer. That didn't happen, but at, underneath that two inches, the the uh, thermometer went right into the ground. But it still stayed. The thermometer is still staying up above uh, 30 degrees. So we'll shoot a we'll shoot a, a picture going down the uh, cornfield uh, from a distance. It doesn't look like there's anything going on in this field, but up close you go through and you pull the residue back. You can see that there's plants growing underneath the residue. 